Hello, my name is Arindam and in this video I will show you all of the essential information you need to defeat the Haiti and Shkiol mini world bosses on the Fyodor map. In the end, I am also going to be showing you two strategies that you can use to actually defeat the bosses. So let's get started. So before we actually start the boss fight, you need to unlock it. To unlock the boss fight, you need 30 rune stones. To get rune stones, you need to kill alpha predators. You can check out my videos in which I have shown you which alpha predator gives how many rune stones and that should give a helpful guide for collecting rune stones. Now, after you have gotten 30 rune stones, you need to locate the teleporter terminal that teleports you from Midgard to Asgard. We are currently situated just above the cave entrance that contains that teleporter. Let me give you a better visual representation of where we are. So we are at this coordinate and here is our location. We have that lake over here and we have this cave over here. So let me drop down here. Right. So I am going to take this slowly and uh, well this is what happens when a new area loads so this is the teleporter terminal there are three teleporters you need to locate the teleporter that goes to the yellow zone this is the asgard terminal here it is once you locate the asgard terminal it is going to teleport you to asgard remember one important thing you cannot use flyers in any of the three realms. So you cannot use any flyers. You cannot even use a hover skip. Mind you, on Genesis part 1, flyers were not allowed, but you could actually fly the hover skip. Even that is disabled in Fjordar. The only flyer that you can use is the Desmodus. Right. So now we are at Asgard. Let me show you where we are currently at the map. So we are here. This is our terminal and this is the map coordinate. From this terminal, you need to look at the north eastern direction. You see that bridge over there, you need to cross that bridge, come close to that lake and just to the left hand side, you see all of these pillars and this pillar encloses the terminal to summon the bosses. Now we have gotten the Haiti and Shkiol terminal and we have 30 rune stones. Before I show you the two strategies for defeating the bosses, let me tell you a couple of things. First of all, you see these pillars. This happens to be the boss arena for these two mini world bosses. And you can actually go outside of the pillars. But once the bosses go outside this pillar region, they are going to respawn back at the entrance over here. And all of their health will have regenerated to full so word of advice do not make do, do not take the bosses outside these pillars second thing to note is there are two bosses Haiti and Shkiol Shkiol is the yellow boss and it has around 125,000 health but it also does more damage the other boss Haiti has twice the amount of health that is 250,000 but it also has less damage. So, if I were you, I would first target Shkiol and kill him before I move on to Haiti. Both of these bosses have a special attack which is Sunburn for Shkiol and Moon Freeze for Haiti. Both of them do quite a bit of damage and it is thus essential that you take a really good amount of dinos to tackle them. So, right. Now I have covered how you can get to this uh, particular terminal. 
what are the runes you require and what are the different things you need to know beforehand. I would also suggest that you take a couple of uh, medical brews because you might require some healing if you are getting constantly attacked by the sunbeam attack. Right, with that being said, now I'm going to actually show you the two strategies. So the two strategies I'm going to show you, one involves a single Giga Notosaurus, my personal Giga, and the second one involves an entire boss killing army of Shadow Mains. The reason I'm going to be showing you two different strategies is because the Giga Notosaurus strategy is the ideal optimal strategy. But I know that since transfers are still not enabled, a lot of you may not have a really good Giga. So obviously you're going to require an army of dinos. The ultimate reason you're going to be killing these world bosses is so that you can take their Haiti and Shkiol relic, which will be used to unlock the dragon boss fight. And obviously for the dragon boss fight, you are going to require an army of dinos. So why not use the same dragon army against the mini world bosses? What is stopping you from using the same army for both? So I'll be using my shadow main army consisting of 19 shadow mains and my utidanus. But that will be strategy two. In the first strategy, I'm going to be showing you using my personal giga. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's start off with our giga strategy first. Now, to make this thing interesting, I'm going to take my Ascendant Saddle from my Giga and, well, I'm going to take just a Primitive Saddle. This is going to be a good representation of what you would always face. Let's take this guy out. Next thing we should do is, go into Harvest Settings, Disable Harvesting, and Now these two bosses are going to spawn somewhere over there. So we are just going to place our rune stone. Now because I am on a Giga, I really do not need to bother about how powerful these bosses are. I can tackle both of them together. Shkiol there and Haiti over here. The yellow one actually has half the health and twice the damage of the blue one. You can see they have quite a bit of knockback. Even with a primitive saddle, they are barely doing any damage to me. And Shkiol is down. Now Shkiol is the one that actually has some amount of chance of killing me. Haiti? Not so much. Haiti is more like a tank. That's about it. These two bosses are already down. Next thing I need to do is take my taxidermy tool and get the taxidermy. So this one has 125,000 and this one has 250,000. Okay, so let's check out my Giga. Barely lost 5,000 health and on a primitive saddle. And these are the two relics that you require. And we got some other uh, not so good loot. This one might have some useful. But hey, that was strategy one. I'll be now showing you the next strategy which involves my shadow mains. So I'm going to start doing the preparations and I will see you guys in a bit. And we are back. So we have our, all of our shadow mains set up. And 
this preparation took a crazy amount of time because once you kill any of the mini world bosses there is actually a cooldown timer on these mini world bosses which equates to 50 real time minutes so i had to wait like a day and a half and even more possibly just here doing nothing just to ensure that these guys are well set up properly anyway we have our shadow mains from our shadow main army all these shadow mains have really good stats on official servers you are going to get even better stats than them these shadow mains all are max leveled from wild ancestors who themselves have been imp who themselves have had mutagens so the wild ancestors had mutagens and even after these guys were max level i put another couple of mutagen so that their levels are finally 382 on official servers with a lots of mutations you should be able to get shadow mains that are even more powerful than this my Utrianus has all of its health put, all of its levels put into health corrections. And I have made sure that resource harvesting is disabled for all of my dinos. This ensures that they do not accidentally get encumbered in the boss fight. Okay, so enough talking, let's start. This time we are going to act as the commander last time we were the fighter this time we are the commander it's going to come here as you can see Haiti and Shkiol has targeted my Utiranus and not my Shadow Mains. This is because Arc's AI works on a feature that higher the threat, higher the drag weight of your creature, more is their threat level compared to Arc's enemies. So they are going to target my Utiranus and completely ignore my Shadow Mains. Which means they are going to spend all their time trying to attack me while I can safely come while I can safely use my shadow mains as a shield. This is the strategy I have used against all of the bosses using my shadow mains and they have worked wonders. You can use this exact same shadow main strategy to kill all of the island bosses like the dragon, megapithecus and uh, spider. You can check out my previous videos in which I have used same strategy and made Alpha Dragon and Alpha Spider look like an absolute joke. You can actually do this boss fight with even inferior shadow mains. You don't really require shadow mains as powerful as I have. But ha keeping more shadow mains, like a full sized army of 19 shadow mains, helps you to box out the bosses, which means they are not going to attack my shadow mains. They cannot reach me, and it makes the whole boss fight look like an absolute joke. Set them to passive. And let's see another little taxidermy for me. But he could not get the taxidermy for Shkiol though. Let's check the health of these creatures. Well, they practically did not take any damage. It's like what, 100? This guy got the killing blow. And we got ascendant versions of Pick and this. This is going to be really helpful. Awesome. Right, so on an average you can see that if you do not have a Giga and if you do not have a really good army, a couple of shadow mains is going to make this boss fight look like an absolute joke. Remember, the reason why you are using shadow mains is not because they are very powerful creatures that have a pack boost, mate boost and all the different types of buffs. You are using them also because because of their low drag weight 
you can ride a utrinus like my one over here or you can ride a rex and all of the both the two bosses as well as all of the fenrir minions are going to aggro onto my utrinus leaving my shadow mains completely unharmed so that it's going to be a vicious cycle in which the bosses try to target me but completely do nothing about it because my shadow mains will box them in and kill them very easily all right so i have covered the a to z of how to kill haiti and skiol so in the next couple of videos i will show you how i'm going to use similar strategies to take out the two remaining mini bosses which are bela and steinborn but hey that is it for this video if you enjoyed this content and you find my guides helpful please drop a like and subscribe it really really helps me out and i'm going to be seeing you in a lot more videos from now on so stay tuned and thank you for watching